A $15 billion merger sparks a lithium frenzy. We reveal the small cap mining stock that rocketed today and why do 4 million people hate Disney? Trading Up, a collaboration by the West Australian and Graffa. Watch out, there's a new lithium superpower in town. A $15 billion lithium merger sent investors into an absolute frenzy. Aussie lithium miner Alcom is merging with US resources group Livent and will become the world's third largest lithium producer within five years. Alcom shares surged as high as 18% on the deal. Alcom owns the Mount Catlin lithium mine near Ravensthorpe in WA, as well as lithium projects in Argentina and Canada. The news whipped lithium bugs up into a frenzy and we saw some of the other big lithium players surging as well. Staying on green energy and one of the world's biggest batteries is coming to WA. The 500 megawatt battery will be installed in Collie and will be up and running by 2025, according to plans released today in the WA state budget. It's all part of the state government's $2.8 billion green energy transformation plan, which will include an expansion to the Quinana battery plant south of Perth. That plan will be operational in the next few weeks. Looks like WA's hit the jackpot for renewable energy. On to technology now, and Google is hitting back at ChatGPT with its new AI model. The US internet giant unveiled a version of its search engine that uses AI tools to answer users' queries in conversation. Now, just to be sure it's not releasing Skynet, Google's AI will only exist in a new experimental space dubbed Search Labs. Users have to sign up to a wait list to give it a go. Google has been under pressure to up its game with Microsoft-owned OpenAI taking the world by storm. Still to come, the junior miner that beat the big boys today and how much cash Disney's streaming service is burning through. Stay tuned. Staying with that futuristic theme and Graffa's dark horse of the day is technology stock Kodan. It makes communications and metal detection products and it's seen its stock soar 29% in the last 30 days. Not so good news though for Mickey Mouse and his friends, with Disney's streaming service losing almost a billion dollars last quarter. Disney Plus lost over four million subscribers. What's to stop me from dropping you right where you stand? The streaming arm, which produces shows such as The Mandalorian, is being propped up by some of the other parts of Disney's businesses. So the theme parks and the sports channel ESPN, they're still raking it in, with total revenue for the group coming in at just over $32 billion. And finally, that junior miner that beat the lithium big boys today, Bastion Minerals. The small cap miner announced it's acquiring three lithium properties in Canada. Its shares took off on the news, up just over 42% on the day. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.ie or if you want to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. I'm Heidi Cuthbert. See you next time.